Sam. Cam. Sam and Cam. Okay, friends. Welcome back. It's finally here. I'm performing for you. <laughs> you know the, the words you can join in to. Put your hands together. together if you want to clap. clap. You threw this DK rap. Where could this lead? Mm -hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> LW lingering well. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, she leveled up some and you're not necessarily doing any more damage. Well, that's how it'd be. Actually. But you know, it does add up. But also, because of the ribbons, you're definitely taking less damage. But it's still not that much. Like now it's like you're at 2 HP instead of 1 HP. Which is major, but yeah, know Donald, is Donald will still heal you at 2 HP, so it's not that much. It just means that, that if he's dead, I can survive another day. Which is a big deal. Like, that's why we did it. That's why it was worth it. Do yeah. limit, you have the item on the shortcut for X. I do not need to use them here. <laughs> you did counter card? <laughs> That's enough for now, buddy. HP bear in the next combo, probably. Yeah. But I can at least do that. Yep, that was definitely the HP bar barrier. This is good, though. This is his phase. Yeah, you're you're literally good on this phase. Though so if you get hit by it, it's a problem because you don't have that much HP. Yeah. So pretty much you just gonna have to wait for there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was looking for. You remember the plan, right? Once he starts doing it, you do Duck Flare. Yeah. During Duck Flare, you do Mega Elixir. Afterwards, you get the combo. I thought it was Mega Elixir before Duck Flare. 
No, during Duck Flare, you do. Oh no, you no. After Duck Flare, you do Mega Elixir so that you ensure Donald alive. Rather, you want to do Mega Elixir when you know he's gonna do a living again. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Unless you loop yeah. the Duck Flares indefinitely, but that might cause some sinking issues. But um, yeah. After you do do a combo, you wait till he starts doing limit again. And once he does, you do Mega Elixir then Duck Flare. This might be it. Yeah. Okay, get ready to do, um, switch so, so to your limits then you. Alright. You don't even need to move. Yeah, I remember this bit. Wait. Wait before you do Mega Duck Flare. Oh, right. I forgot about the other one in this game. Alright, get him. Mega Elixir now, right? Yes. Oh, this is okay. Yes. This is perfectly fine. Keep me. I see. Okay. I wonder how that affects the combo. I don't think Mega Lu uh, Duck Flare does anything to the red counter. That's good. Okay, so it adds like one to the red counter. And you do Mega Luxer even though you have MP back just to get Donald alive. Yeah, he's dead. Woo! Woo! Hey, that's perfectly fine. No, yeah, this is good. I don't even have to use a Mega Elixir now. Oh, fuck. We got ya. We got a Kiraga, though. Whew. No, he's not open. You need a Mega Elixir. It, if you managed to, like, not get mixed up by that, you would have got another combo. But it's okay. Now. Alright. Just gotta wait. Mega Laser. Don't wait between each rock and flare. Mash it now, mash it. Look, only wait when you get to Mega Duck Flare. Oh, what the fuck? So, since you weren't, like, what's called locked onto him at the end, the Mega Duck Flare didn't hit. Because remember, he, you stopped locking onto him for a bit. Right. Well, I got him now. Now, lock onto him. Ah. Kiraga. Dang it. Okay. Drive, drive. Ah, I forgot. And, and you could have limited. I could have limited, you're right, yeah. Damn it. Well, that was really close. That was really close. Yeah. So you really just pretty much get the the, the Mega Duck Flare to lay down. That's not for the sake of getting extra damage, by the way. That's just to make sure you guarantee that you get the combo. And um, like only delay when you take Mega Duck Flare. Um. And what's it called? Uh. The other thing you have to come on. Is to lock onto him. Not 
necessary, but it's okay. Because your MP come back so fast anyway. It also heals everybody else, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a very risky aerial recovery. some piano there, by the way. I wasn't wrong last time. <laughs> it's just, uh, the strings kind of, um, what's it called? It a little bit. Yeah. That's sort of the idea. In the big classical orchestral things, the piano is more of a, of a backing than a main instrument. Because of just how loud strings and brass can be. But it does depend. So, like, you know, the, 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 the high pitch strings is really there, there to, like, illustrate how mad Terra is right now. Because the song is literally called Rage Awaken. <laughs> and he literally Terra thinks. literally too angry to die. Yeah, that is the thing. Local Keyblade Master. Like, literally too like, angry to die. Imagine. What the fuck. You press how did square. I hit square. <laughs> Your thumb was to the left. So, um, like, imagine how it was, like, fucking plinked the fuck into input. Imagine how it was, like, m going from 2 to Birth by Sleep, and, like, even ignoring the actual problem Birth by Sleep had, like, when you get to the final boss of, um, what's it called? Like, you already know that Ligmin Will is Terra, but you don't know how he gets there, and then you get to the final boss of Birth by of Terra's story, and you realize that you have to play as Ring Ring Will for the final boss and then this song starts playing. That was an incredible sad. Going through that the first time I played the River Sleep. I know I made you do in reverse order. Yeah. But so you missed out on that, but like it was worth it. But still, like, I just want you to know like that going in the in the release order was still had some pretty cool stuff like that happening. That is cool. I think but it's, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. And you, you you would still get the the, the the um the surprise of getting to this fight and realizing wait, Terra's still around? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think I, I still would have um I think I still would have been minorly disappointed. Even if we oh, yeah, did the because, reverse order, because, like, and I would have gone to birth by sleep and would have been like, what the fuck? Why can't I do half of these moves? <laughs> I think the only move you can do, the only moves you can do, um, that, that Ling Will does is, I think this is technically Sonic Blade, so you can do this. Um, uh, what's it called? Technically, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the section on the spaceship where you're outside, <laughs> this is a Keyblade Glider attack. <laughs> um, what's it called? Uh, obviously you have the same spells, but this guy only does the spells in one specific section. Um, an ultimate cannon. Yeah. Which most people don't even get, and Paranor himself ends up doing. Like, you're, like <laughs> the intrigue of, like, oh man, this Ligri Will guy is, like, so intimidating and awesome and hard to fight. Like, what the hell kind of character was this? And it's just terrible. <laughs> it's literally, like, literally, like, Kingdom Hearts' version of Kronk. That's, that's, that's who Ligri Will is. <laughs> I'm surprised Goofy... Goofy did, like, an attack to, like, dodge the whip. <laughs> or something. He, like, didn't take damage. I think he was technically blocking the whip, that's why. 
that's just kind of Goofy's thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish that was a more iconic scream. Like that was <laughs> like imagine like a Mickey Mouse cartoon. And he goes, "Ow, wah!" Fuck, oh, this time. <laughs> not a little, just barely not in green. Hey, if he does bow and arrow, then you're good. You get a stand. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like the proper phase two. I don't know if you hit the, the Ishii barrier yet. I didn't. That that might be a problem then, because you might do the, the the glider spells. Was interesting. <laughs> you were gliding. <laughs> it broke me out of the combo. Yeah, because the the hit stun of the lasers is not as much as the hit stun of yeah uh, his dummy thick keyblade. <laughs> Damn, it's a little bit too late there. I think I also just wasn't facing the right one. No, you were facing that way. I saw, I saw Sora face that way. Actually, I think that might have been your problem, because I think I, you pressed up or something. I don't know why I tried fighting out of the way that it's never worked before. <laughs> Thank God for extremely long invincibility. And that's leaf brief for you. there. Yeah. Goofy with the shield slash assist. You should be very soon. Unfortunately, his current life bar is a little bit... Ugh, I it's a little bit weird. You'll probably do like two, two combos. Remember, don't revert in the middle of attacks. It causes all sorts of problems. Donald, what are you doing? <laughs> Donald 
that's silly one on his way over. <laughs> There we go. Exactly what you were talking about. Yep, I saw that coming too. He might, he might do it again. Nope. <laughs> oh, fuck. Magic, so you heal. You can drive too. He looked like he was going to do the command ball again. Just a little too early. That sucks. Yep. Just can't keep my execution straight for this boss. It's always something. I've been really unfortunate with that. Really unlucky with that, really. Yeah, this is it. Back off. That's like the one attack where pulling backward does not help. <laughs> he catches you on the back roll. <laughs> the tech chase. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> wow, he's... He really wants that, huh? He actually got it somehow. Kinda got janked there. <laughs> what is he doing? I thought he got hit there. being allowed to have any health. <laughs>
eat the brown part of this banana now. <laughs> I love that image. It's just one of those memes of like, who the fuck made this? You're disgusting, you're ugly, I'm gonna kill you, give me 200 money. <laughs> <laughs> like, why that song? I might be able to cleanly get to his HP barrier here. Yep. There's no opportunities for counterattacks. Sometimes he doesn't do anything. Oh. It's a magic one. Yep. And then run away and yep, do that like a little bitch. Remember, don't do three. But the mega finisher only do two. Wow, I didn't even see him. Get him. Nope. Whoa! Did not want to roll again. Get him. Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have tried. Of course, the one time I block. <laughs> nice parry. What are you running away for? <laughs> to unlock your other commands. <laughs> Hellbent that mix you up here. Yeah, he's been mixing me up a lot more tonight. Okay. Nice. I think he tried to neutral jump there, that's why. I want to cut it. What time is it? 6.15. Yeah, it's only been half an hour. We can go a little longer. It's been like 45 minutes. Uh, we can do one more. One or two more. This is why spacing the... the... cannon is really important. Because I really don't want to roll in and then be unable to see it. Oh, you know who else spaces the cannon? Nomura. That's why he did so many spin-offs. <laughs> you know what I realized? When, like, so yesterday, a friend of mine was like, you know, I'm kind of interested in trying out Kingdom Hearts. Sell me on it. And I'm like, okay. And we, I'm not going to tell you what I said, because it's pretty really bad. It's something I told you. Oh but... I will say, what I realized while I was saying that, Kingdom Hearts, and another RPG series known as Ease, is the only RPG I series I can think of where it's like a long-term series, and that every game was part of a saga that focused on like one or a few characters. Cause there's a lot of games like that, you know, like Metal Gear, um, Metroid, uh, etc, etc. But not a lot of RPGs like that. A lot of them like to go for different setting every time. Yeah, different protagonists. Yeah. And I'm like, the only RPG I think of that actually do this is Kingdom Hearts, but most of it's focused on Sora or people connected to Sora, the few spin-offs that are there. 
Yeah, Sora, Riku, or Kairi. Well, what's it called? All the Luffy. There's no Kairi doll or Goofy spinoffs. My point is that, like, Birth by Sleep was, like, leading up to King of Hearts 1. And, ha and Sora ended up being part of it anyway. And then, it, what's it called? Chain of Memories had a Riku mode. 338 was about Roxas, who obviously is um, Sora's nobody. And the, every every other game is Sora. Um, and I was like, what other RPG series does this? And the only one I, uh, other one I know is Ease, which is um, what it called? An RPG series I told you about. It's one of the oldest RPG series ever. It might. It's like. Probably like the second oldest action RPG series, even. Um, and I'm like, that's weird. There, 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 there has to be more like this. And then that's another thing that I could say that is to Kingdom Hearts' benefit. Hey, look, it's a bunch of games that learn in the RPG series that follow a, a single plot. Rather than, you know, different plot or I wonder if that's also part of why people have a hard time following the, the story? Might be. Uh, it's this one. Like, it's easier to follow the story when you, uh... When you only have one game to follow, essentially. Because the other games yeah. are different and are... Or you get something like Zelda, where it just jumps all around the chronology. Um... Technically, Fire Emblem does that too, but uh, nobody, a lot of people don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. um. And it's like, yeah, if this is your problem, then, uh, you know, I have no idea what your problem is. It's not like it's a weird thing for a whole series to follow one character that's pretty much the norm. Yeah, it's just weird for RPGs for whatever reason. Which doesn't even really make sense. Like, yeah. You'd I, think RPGs would be more likely to stick to one character. I, th I think... Anything. I Honestly, I think the reason why it's like that is pretty much just because of how popular Final Fantasy is. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but then the Final Fantasy guys would make Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. There is one other R big RPG series that all falls a character, single character. Yakuza. <laughs> and if you don't believe that's an RPG, then just play it yourself. Yeah, it's not hard. It's got plenty of RPG mechanics. It is. It is an action yeah. RPG. It's like this. And it's weird I, how two of the three series are actually out is East an action RPG? Yes, I said so East is all the second them, oldest action RPG series. So all, we're weird that all three of them, all three of the RPG series that focus on one character mostly throughout the whole thing are action RPGs. Which again feels weird because you'd think that would be a, 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 a traditional turn based RPG thing. Maybe it's easier to make it more believable that what we called. Um, yeah, uh, I guess the other thing is well, like, more believable gosh. that like there would still be challenges that this character even has to face. Because like that's actually already hard for people to believe for like Yakuza and Ease is like, come on, like who can, who can even like give Kiryu a run for his money at this? What are you doing? Um, I was gonna do another combo because I think the 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 laser bounced him out of my explosion. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I can get another thing off. But not another finisher, certainly. Um, there we go. And people have that same problem with ease. Someone actually, I remember someone actually made a direct comparison of ease and Miyata, and it's just like. Bro, who's even gonna, like, give these guys a challenge? Kingdom Hearts does not have that issue because Sora is never particularly powerful at any point. Yeah. Like, like his friends are his power. He doesn't have these awesome abilities that all the villains have. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think the reason Kingdom Hearts... Or, the reason Final Fantasy does it at least, and maybe why other things do it. Nice. Is um because in Final Fantasy, like you always fight God at the end, 
No, you don't. Well, not you gone, but like you. Mm, I know that's a character. that's a dumb what's it called JRPG stereotype, but it's actually not even as true as much as you think. Um, not now there certainly are Final Fantasy games where you fight God, but it's actually not like doesn't happen nearly as much as you think. Um, I mean, come on, who do you fight at the end of Final Fantasy VII? Climate change. <laughs> well, yes, but who personifies climate change? Sephiroth. We should cut it. Yeah. Right. And Sephiroth is certainly not a god in any sense. See you guys next time. See ya.